website whenever you're ready. Okay. Hello, Sasha here for NetbookNews.com. We are at the AS Rock headquarters in Taipei. And uh, maybe some of you guys are still familiar with this little fellow over here. And um, we spotted for the first time during Computex 2009. So it means in June this year, there was the first net top uh, from AS Rock. It was already based on the Atom 330. That's a dual core desktop version of the Intel Atom processor. And it came with the NVIDIA Iron Chip set. And yeah, pretty cool system. Uh, only 2.5 liters box and they are pretty small and with quite some decent performance but ASWork thought that couldn't be enough uh, we kinda need to get the second generation of this net top onto the market and they did this just in a couple of months and um, that's what we have over here that's the ASWork IN330 HT series which comes in two uh, no sorry three different versions we have the IN330 Pro uh, the IN330 HT and the Ion 330 HTBD, that's the top version, the one that we have over here, which also comes with a Blu-ray uh, optical uh, disc and um, an optical disc drive. So uh, why don't we take a closer look at this little fellow over here and do immediately an unboxing. I've always left to have this Christmas feeling. Um, that's of course a driver CD and couple of uh, proprietary software from AS Rock, Instant Boot and OC Tuner. So it seems like I can even overclock this uh, machine. Um, here we have, um, I really like this, and let, let me show you this immediately. That's an anti-slip uh, pad, especially, I mean, this is a quite glossy finish. Let's take this first generation. And I mean, you can place it like this on the desk, or you can place it like this. And when you don't want to open the optical drive, you know, it would just slip all over the desk. So just place it on the slip, anti-slip pad and it's steady. No scratches on this glossy finish and it keeps your, it keeps your net top steady and yeah, new. So let's see what else we have in the box. Uh, we have a little quick manual here, a little overview all the components yep there we go uh, accessories and how to connect um, your system to a keyboard um, to external screens and HDMI devices and let's see what is in this accessory box Ta -da -da -da. This is a special feature um, of the 330 HTBD and the 330 HT version. That's a Media Center Edition um, remote control. And they're using infrared technology for this. So actually you don't even have to get a USB dongle on your net top. You're immediately starting it uh, for the first time with your um, remote control. So but I'm gonna show you this a little bit later. We have here a PSU. This is something uh, pretty much the size of the netbox wants. Um, a 65 watt external PSU. Okay, so in terms of cables, uh, eSATA cables, so that you can, uh, SATA cables that you can uh, get an additional hard disk in there. This is also something unique about um, uh, the AS Rock net top because you can add an additional 2.5 inch hard disk into the net top. That means you can even run a RAID system in there. It's RAID O or RAID 1. So these are the cables for it. And what else do we have here? That's our, a little quick manual for the remote control. And here we have an HDMI connector. Oh no, that's HDMI to DVI. Here we go. Let's see? And a um, couple of screws. So, now let's get finally to the device itself and let me tell you a little bit more about the specifications of it and let me also tell you what kind of price points we can expect from these net tops. Um, here we go. As I told you, this is the top model. Um, that's the Iron330 HTBD. Um, it's a little bit glossy and shiny, so you can see Nicole filming here. That's my hand, that's Nicole. And the Blu-ray disc, right? 
And as I told you, um, Intel Atom 330, desktop version of the Intel Atom CPU, uh, it runs at uh, 1.6 gigahertz dual core system and each core also comes with hyperthreading. So I think uh, Windows will even show you like four cores with this system. And um, NVIDIA Ion, um, I think that's the full version of the Ion, it's not the LE version uh, in, in, in these systems. So you can really, really expect some decent performance, 1080p should uh, run without any stuttering. And uh, let's take a quick look around the system before I'm getting rid of all this. Um, on the back side, you know, this is something that I have to point out. It comes with a 7.1 audio card, so, and it also uh, runs on, uh, uh, supports DTS, so that's also uh, quite some different, uh, quite different to the first generation of it, right? As you can see, we have an SPDIF uh, outlet here. Um, over here you can get in your um, PSU, microphone headset, um, Ethernet connector, about six USB 2.0 connectors, that's quite a lot. That's great. Uh, HDMI, we have the power for e -Sader, and we have a VGA out. So that's it pretty much what you can see over here. Let's talk about the technical specification of it. Um, 320 gigabyte, 2.5 inch hard disk drive. As I said already, you can get an additional one in there. Blu-ray disk, um, two gigabyte of RAM, and um, yeah, Intel Atom 330, NVIDIA Ion chipset. The price point, that's a rather good question. $549 for the top model. I think that's a pretty reasonable price for what, it's, what it offers, especially with the Blu-ray disc, our optical drive. And when we're talking about the Ion 330 HT version, which comes without the Blu-ray disc, but has a super multi a DVD uh, drive in there, that goes for $449. And the entry-level version, um, that is one uh, without Wi-Fi, because these guys are also supporting Wi-Fi, so it's A, B, G, and N standard. Um, the entry-level version goes for 399 US dollars and should be available at your favorite reseller and retailer pretty soon. So yeah, really, really cool device. I can't wait, you know, to open this little fella and take a closer look in there and I guess that's what we're going to do right now. So let's get rid of these protection faults. You know what, actually, and this is pretty much the Mercedes-Benz of the net tops because this glossy level of the color of the finish is at 92%. That's the same uh, percentage of glossy that we have on the Mercedes-Benz cars. So that's a kind of fancy feature. Let's get rid of all this. Oh, you know what? We don't have to get rid of these side ports. Um, just getting a little screwdriver. And let's see what's in there. And let's take a look uh, about heat sinks and fans and to see how AS Rock is cooling this down. And of course, you, can, you, all, you would also get an impression if you want to add an additional hard drive to it how it will look like. Okay, there you can, there you can see um, the optical drive. So let's see if we can just easily get it out of the drive bay over here. That's number one. You see, it's, it's, it's pretty small. Everything is very, very small. I remember this from my time work for epcenter.com where I was only covering mini ITX form factor and always had to deal with these cases. So that was always a hard time to get everything in there. But uh, my first impression is this is, they really, really sorted this out in a, in a good way. And there you can see, it's very, very simple. Just two screws and I'm getting rid of um, the Blu-ray disc. Oh, this looks to me, okay, wait, here we go. Number one, number two, there you go. There you can see that you can just add an additional uh, 2.5 inch here. Right. Here. Full screw holes here. Okay. The second, second drive here. Right. So you can just get it underneath it, right, and then you would have a RAID system in there. So very, very easy to to uh, unscrew all this and to get really to the core of the system. So um, it's dual channel RAM. So it's it's a two gigab uh, two gigabyte um, memory 
uh, banks and uh, slots. Of course, I think you can upgrade it to four gigabytes, right? So you can definitely get some more RAM in there. And um, over here, this should be there should be the CPU. Um, got an additional fan over here, very very small one. Um, it looks to me like I would say like 40 millimeter fan, something like that. Why this is uh, a little bit bigger, right? It's, it's a 30 uh, 30 minutes fan, and this is 50 min, minute fan. That's 50 millimeter, yeah. and that's thir 13 30, millimeter. 30. So this is 13 millimeter, and that's 50 millimeter. Can't tell you anything about our. our how loud it is right now, but we're going to see it uh, as soon as we have our review unit and doing some additional testings on it. So, and this is um, just a huge heat sink. I think this should be for the iron ship set, exactly. right? And um, so, um, this one over here in the back is just getting the hot air outside of this very, very small box. So, and this yeah. is the, uh, the system ac ac acoustic is only uh, is below 26 dB. Okay, so 20 below 26 dB. Yeah, exactly. So uh, you won't you won't really hear this one at all. Yeah. Um, the main board they use, well, pretty much reminded me of a mini ITX form factor main board. Now uh, it's it's uh, uh, it seems to me like se seven inch uh, uh, on each side. It's a little bit like this, right? So yeah, it's it's just amazing what they they were able to get into the small little box, and the small little net top, and especially. Um, I like it how how easily you can uh, unscrew it and can get to the core and can add additional hard disk drive, can add, add additional uh, RAM. You saw that that's a matter of two minutes to open the whole thing. Um, this is a huge plus when I compare this to every net top that I've ever had in my hand, to every mini ITX case I had ever had in my hand. I really, really like this concept um, of the AS Rock INC30HT. The Mercedes-Benz of net tops. The Mercedes-Benz of net tops. At least, when, at least when it comes to the uh, to the finish of the case itself. So um, another interesting point that I would like to show you is um, the design of the antennas over here. These are the Wi-Fi antennas, right? And over here on this side we have the infrared uh, receiver. Now, just to let you know, this is a DNA compatible device. That means actually you can even use it with Windows 7 as an access point or as a hotspot. You can connect to the internet with your other devices over this little net top. So I think that's a huge plus. So you can you, you can actually you can save your Wi-Fi router at home by just getting our the AS Rock IN330 HT. And I think that's a huge plus com comparing this uh, to all the other net tops that are available on the market. But remember, it's only possible with Windows 7.